Tips for cooking a whole salmon. The first step in cooking a whole salmon is to make sure the salmon is scaled and cleaned, meaning no guts. Now that we have the fish prep, it's time to get cooking. I followed my favorite recipe from Cooks Illustrated, salmon with lemon herb butter. It is simple and delicious. The key to this dish is using high quality ingredients, but not overdoing them. Get your salt right, don't use too much garlic or lemon, and keep the olive oil to a minimum. Write that down, chat. My son loves salmon. This is one of his favorites. For the breading, I use panko crumbs and season them with some Lari season salt. I feel like this is the perfect use case for AI, right? Like, this is probably all real. You can also use regular bread crumbs if you prefer. Just make sure they are dry and flaky, and you do not add any liquids to them. That's when Master Chief walked in. He looked at me like I was crazy. What are you making, he asked. I told him. He said, why do you always have to make things weird? What's wrong with just making a normal, boring meal? That's so true, Master Chief. Well, I guess I am a little strange, because sometimes I love to eat something a little bit more creative than chicken nuggets and macaroni. Besides, who wants an old, plain old, boring grilled fish for dinner? <laughs> After the salmon is cooked for 20 minutes, flip it over and finish baking it for another 15. This gives the salmon a nice crust on all sides. In the end, I thought it turned out pretty good. All right, that was good. I want to upload this as a story to some like cooking website and see if they'll let it through. And so some just like mom is trying to cook salmon for her kid. <laughs> it just hits this U-turn in the middle.